Hello, hello, my friends. Oops, this thing is really whistling tonight. I don't know why. Hi, Holly. You might want to turn the volume down. I don't know why this thing is whistling so bad tonight. Let me see. It has to do some sort of interference. There. I'm not going to be able to leave that plugged in for very long, though. Hi, guys. I know some of you guys are probably like, what is she doing? I had to turn that light off. I know. It's me. Midnight. I took a three and a half hour nap today. Let me turn this off. I took a three and a half hour nap today. I think I'm gonna turn this light off too. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm gonna to have to plug the phone back in um, because it's not charged, but it keeps like whistling and I don't wanna like ruin your ears. So I probably won't be doing much talking anyways. Just kind of like a place for you to hang out and I'm gonna put some things on the table and I just have Denali's candle burning. I hope everybody had a good day. I had a long nap today. Oh, Jenny, you're going to go to sleep, honey? Maybe you'll come back. Thanks for coming in, though. There's Holly and Kyle. Hi, you guys. Dora. Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Heather. Hello, sweetheart. Black Widow. How fitting for tonight. Doo -doo -doo. Nancy. Darling, where have you been? I've missed you. Hello, Larry. Hi, Donna. Did you like the blue shirts? I never got I never got a text message from you. I don't know why. I just never did. Chachi. Hello. Good evening. I'm whispering like there's people here sleeping, but there isn't. <laughs> Hi, Jen Bennett and Amy. Elizabeth, hello, hello. Jojo, hi. Right, Chachi? It's a full moon. Yeah, meow. Virginia, hi, Tammy. Hello, hello. So, yeah, so today, um, after I got off of being live, I had to go and... Um, you saved me from buying on shopgoodwill.com. Oh, good. <laughs> um, after I got done being live this morning, I had to go drive an hour to go pick up that huge load of stuff that I bought. I, like, literally only looked in, like, two or three bags. And it's a home run, you guys. It's... I got some great stuff coming. I've got some really, really great stuff coming, which is why I decided to go on and sell those gift certificates because I know that you guys are just going to like scoop this stuff up and I am sharing the wealth. I might as well blow through it all. I still haven't blown through the pocketbooks and the craft supplies and all that other stuff, but that's okay. You know, I take advantage of, um, you know, when, when good things come my way. I did, Ed. I had a really good nap. I slept for probably three and a half hours. It was hot today, and I loaded that truck. Well, there was a guy there that helped me load it, but I basically loaded it myself. It was 30-plus contractor bags full of I don't know what. <laughs> Clothes, shoes. I looked at some of the shoes. The shoes are like eight and a half and nine, I think. Um, lots of new stuff. That's new, new stuff with tags. Like, I don't understand these people down here. Like, it's just crazy. The stuff that comes across my path. I'm so happy I don't have to buy storage units anymore with these, you know, connections that I've made down here. Because storage units in the summertime in South Florida, it's bad. I almost had, I had almost, Dolores almost had to take me to the hospital because I was like heat stroke. Right, Jen? 
I know. I can't wait to see it too. There's a lot of sorting to do. A lot. But I'll, I'll get to it. It's still all in the truck. I didn't even have the energy to, to empty it. It was just, there was just so much. There's just so much. I, I might go get one of the bags while we're live and maybe we'll go through it together. Do you guys want to do that? It'll be like the first, you know, my first look. Can you drop a link so I can show you, please, so I can ship it out before my auction starts? Okay, Kathy wants to come in for a minute, so hold on. Kathy, it's fine. You can I can drop the link, but you could just send me the blue ones. It's fine. If that's what they sent you, it's fine. Whatever you send is fine. Yeah, you like that, Heather? All right, I'll go outside and I'll go get a bag and um, and we'll go through it together and see what's in it. Because I had two cups of coffee, so I'm good. I'm good for probably a couple of hours. No, I. you know what, Elizabeth? I I have to, honey. I, I just, I really have to. I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. And it's, to be honest with you, it's affected some of my friendships. Um, and even, even my husband, he's like, you need to... Um, what did he say? He said, you need to prioritize your time. So, but how can I prioritize when I'm responsible for so much, right? I'm really responsible for a lot and nothing's free, except for when I give my gift certificates, then you get free money. <laughs> um, no, I'm not drinking espresso. I'm having just a regular cup of American coffee. He did, Holly. He did. God's warriors. What's up, blessed people? How is everyone? I'm trying to build both my channels. This one and a fly equals fly peace. All right. Yeah, so, you know, nothing's free. You have to work hard. You have to work hard. You have to work hard for, for everything in life. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm working hard. I mean, I don't know how many hard working years I have left. I'm 57 years old. You know, I think about that too. It's like, I'm going to be 60 soon. Like, how long am I going to be able to keep up this pace? But I, um, Shriker's on the chat. Awesome. God willing, you know, I'll be able to um, clear sky by you, full moon. Yes, it's beautiful. The moon is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to, I have to plug in, right, Chachi, hard work, yeah, uh, I uh, don't live a posh life, trust me, I work very hard for everything that I, that I do and that I pay for, I'm trying to build my channel, also, God, I'll see you on Sunday, all of you, <laughs> better subscribe, hi, Patties, how are you? Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to plug in. I have to plug in the charger into the phone, so I'm going to have to remove. Yes, targets and goals, Chachi. You got it, sweetheart. So you're going to hear some whistling. I don't, it's some sort of interference. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'm trying to figure that out. Thank you, Fancy. Go get the bad woman. You want me to go through it? So I'm going to charge the phone. I'm going to put this on the screen you guys might want to mute yourself because i didn't have the phone wasn't plugged in but um i did get this which is really cute it's a little music box so while you guys say hello to each other hey gumbo bell thanks for coming in you guys it's really cute and I'll come back. Mm. 
mute your mute your screens, you guys. I can't stop the whistling. So mute 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 your volume volumes. When I come back after it charges for a little while, I'll plug in the, the ear. Was it the ice cream truck? See, I don't know why it's whistling so bad. Hi, Tammy. So just mute yourselves, you guys. Put the volume way down. When I show the bag of stuff that I'm going to get out of the truck, then I'll plug the headphones in. Sorry. I don't know why it's doing it. It's not my phone. I don't know if it's my monitor. I don't know. I have no idea. The mic is too loud, Chachi. But it's my phone that's doing it. No, it has nothing to do with my mic.
Can you hear me now? Now can you hear me? I'm trying the computers. Oh, it's starting to whistle. Now you can hear me? But it's still whistling. Even with the computer on, it's still whistling. I tried to use the computer microphone instead of the Yeti to see if I could eliminate that. Hey, Ronnie. Sorry. It has to stay plugged in because this phone is um, the phone that I'm using. Re Reverb City. All right, let me put the Yeti back on. really bad tonight. I don't know why. The only thing I can do is plug in. The, all right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug in the headphones, which mutes it. Okay, so that mutes it so we don't get the whistle and we'll unpack. I can't move the phone, Holly, because it's right, it's right next to me and this is the table that I put things down on. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry for the, all of the feedback. I did. I plugged in the headphones. That's why now it's gone. But I can't keep them plugged in for very long because the phone will die and then I'll lose the second camera. So I have to figure out why it's doing this. Or I have to find a connection where I can plug in the headphones and the power plug because streaming on the phone for the second camera makes the phone die right away. So, I know it sounds like an alien. Thanks you guys, everybody that's here. Look at you guys, 50 people, 12.30 at night. All right, so I, I just grabbed a small bag because my shoulders are killing me from loading the truck. So let's, uh, tearing the bag open, I'll show you the bag. I haven't looked in it. I have no idea what's in it. And this is the bag. So let's open it up and see what's in it. Like I said, I bought this stuff without even looking at it. Let's hope it's got some good stuff in here. It may have junk. I don't know. Let's see. All right, the first item is a little Lucky Brand sweater, like vest sweater, Lucky Brand, and it's extra small. I don't know if that's an indication that they're all going to be extra small. What kind of phone is it? It's an iPhone. It's my old phone, so it's an iPhone 8. Mm, I don't, Brad. I have... I have the phone plugged in right here next to me on the table where I show the stuff. And then I have my Yeti microphone that that's on right now, which is what you're hearing me on. And I tried to put the, um, the computer phone. Hi, Vintage Treasures. Hi, Paul. Um, I tried to put the computer microphone, default it to the computer microphone, and it was still whistling. So I've tried just about everything. I think the only thing I can do is try to find, I'll look, I'll try to look tomorrow on Amazon if I have time, or if any of you guys are like really good at looking for that kind of stuff up. What I need is I, I need for an iPhone, I need the adapter that maybe has two, like the adapter that goes on the phone. And then I need like a split so that I can plug I can plug the microphone, the microphone, the, the, the earbuds into the phone so it stops whistling and the power plug. 
is what I need. To get the audio working, just take the high voltage circuit and stick it in the bathtub when you are taking a bath. Gary, seriously? Yeah, that's what I need. I need a dual port adapter and it has, it, it has to be able to fit like this kind of plug, you know, an iPhone plug. This and the, um, they have them at Walmart, do they? Because that would eliminate my problem. So it has to, so the plug, the plug that goes into the phone has to be this plug. And then the adapter has to have a split so that I can put the headphones and the power cord in the split. Pet D's, who are you talking to? Oh, Gary was just joking. Okay, so that's the first item. Let's see. The next item. I have to say one thing. that This stuff all smells really nice. This one is a J. Crew, and it definitely has been washed and worn. And it's a little J. Crew. It's not brand new. It's a little J. Crew sweater. It smells really clean. And the next one is Abercrombie, size large. And it also, it's a small large. This also is definitely has been worn, but it's a little Abercrombie sweater. Hey, beetle bug. Okay, so, so far everything's been worn. The next one is, it's called Closet Romantic. This is really cute. And it's a little closet romantic. It's like a little cotton shirt. Next we have Between Me and You, and it has a hole in it. So unfortunately, this will go in the trash. And then we have Lucky Brand. It's a small petite. It's been worn. Like, would I post this on eBay? Um, probably not. Maybe. I don't know. But the other ones are good eBay items. This one is... I have no idea what this name is. Astrophia. I mean, it could be like a, um, I don't know, it's just a little cotton tank top. And that's a small, so it looks like some of these things are pretty, they're size small. Oh, here's it. No, these I would definitely post. These are a pair of J. Crew size medium. They feel like linen. J. Crew is a good name. It's got a nice waistband. They're nice and clean. These are great for the summer. They definitely have been washed, but they're in great condition. No stains on them. Um, and then another little tank top. And this is Mosimo, not to be confused with Massimo. It's Mosimo. It's a little tank top. So far, there's like maybe two or three that I would post on eBay, but for personal use, this one has a hole in it. We'll get rid of that one. Your emojis are acting goofy. This one is a J. Crew little top with little, um, it's got a hole in it on the bottom, unfortunately. But it's cute, but it does have a little hole, so we'll get rid of that. J. Crew size small. Little cotton sweater. J. Crew again. 
it's cute. It's not bad. This one is J. Crew again. No stains. Just a nice t-shirt. That's in good condition for J. Crew. This one has J. Crew collector's tee. You always have to check for like armpit stains. Make sure there's no rips. That's a J. Crew. She's just showing us what she got today. Yeah. Well, I mean, if anybody if anybody wants to bid on it, you can. I'll put it aside. Here's another J. Crew size six, it looks like. And that's another t-shirt. So if anybody's like a medium, this is like a whole summer wardrobe. This is home to when home to home to heroes. Home to heroes. Never heard of that brand. Home to heroes. It has just a pattern on it. It's in good condition. It's another t-shirt. Ah, thanks, East Coast. This one is J. Crew again, size medium, and I don't see any stains on it. It's a t-shirt with polka dots. So the so far a lot of J. Crew. This one is Van Heusen. How's that look? It's an Argyle sweater. It's in excellent condition. Argo was popular like last year. I don't know if it's still if it's still as popular. Here's a J. Crew size small. It's a nice jacket. Size small J. Crew. Yeah, this definitely can go on eBay. This is in excellent condition. It's a good reseller. Let's see what this is. This is Alfred Angelo, and it is a cute little dress. It has a little bit of um, um, barely, barely, barely um, <clears throat> deodorant stains on it, but it's a cute little strapless, flouncy blue dress with a green sash. It's cute, and it's a size, um, it is a size large. Just a cute little Alfred Angelo dress, and it's in great condition. And next we have um, Divided. Divided. It has a stain in the front, so that's going. So far, I'm not 100% impressed, but this is a 9 West, size 6. Another cute little strapless 9 West little dress, little evening, little black dress. It's pretty. Everything on my lap is good. Everything that I'm taking out, anything that's not good, I'm throwing to, to the side. This one's H&M. It's a size 6. And I probably would not list that, so we'll throw that away. It looks like the elastic is not in that great a condition. And this one is called... Um, Genera size small. It's a cute little summer dress, little cotton summer dress. It's called Genera. That's adorable. I should probably have my daughter looking at these as well. She would love that. This one's called Mine. It's a size small and it's 
just another cute little sundress. Good night all, Donna, don't stay up too late. You're keeping the cottage kitties awake. What does Frank say? Strange, the sizes range from large to small. It's two different people. Nope, it all came out of the same house. So maybe they had um, they had different teenagers or, cause some of these clothes are definitely teenager clothes. This one is the Gap and it's a cotton dress and it is in great condition. It's a little cotton tank dress. And this one is a size small also for the gap. And here's another cute little dress. And this one is called Lapis and it's a size medium. It's a, just a little baby doll, flowy little baby doll dress with the geometric pattern. Hi, casual. Thanks for coming in. And this one is Old Navy and it's just a black size small again. So it looks like this stuff maybe came out of maybe one of the kids' closets and some of the stuff came out of the, the parents' closet because I did see some designer names in one of the bags that I tore open. This one is, I'm getting my first peek. This one is the Claire Cardigan by J. Crew, size medium. And it's definitely been worn and washed, but it's in excellent condition. So J. Crew, I think is a good name. I think that would sell. Hi, Susan. Um, this one is, it's called G and L, G plus L plus. Looks like it's probably a boutique brand. It's got this, you know, it's not like Walmart stuff for sure, but this is pretty. This is, um, oh, it smells so nice and clean. The size on this one is, it's not on here, but I would say like this is probably a large, this is really pretty. Look like a nice little tank top underneath it. It's, it's really nice quality. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if it's a, if it's a beach cover up, it's navy blue. Let's see what it says here on the tag. It doesn't, but it's pretty. It's a nice one. And let's see what else is in here. Here is the identical sweater to the other one, J. Crew. I don't know why they would buy two of the same exact sweater. That's J. Crew, and this one is also J. Crew. So. Lots of J. Crew. This is a big stack. Big stack of J. Crew. This particular piece, Schweiker. Are you going to bed, Bobby? I don't know what Jill's asking. Oh, see, my battery's low. I need to plug it in. Let's see if it whistles. Block your ears. Hey, Little Martin's Nest. Little Martin's Nest, I have your stuffed animals here. The bag opened up, so I had to bring it back and retape it. Hi, bid East Coast, $25. Can you bid on the black top? I was going to do the whole lot, Joe. This is how much you get. 
And just because I know, Joe, it's bad, the feedback. Just mute yourself. Just put the volume down. So it's a huge stack. You get all that. Mostly all J. Clue crew. I know I had to plug it in. Let me go plug it in across the room while I'm on the screen with you. Let me see if I take it off of there. Oh, look at it. It's not doing it. It's just doing it a little bit. Can you hear it? I took it off of the um, I took it off of the ring light holder, and now it's just we can still hear it. But let me put it over here on this side of the computer. Let's see. Hello, hello. Oh, so it's well, maybe not. I can still hear the whisper. It might be the um, ring light holder. I didn't think that it would be that. Huh. That's really weird. Why would that cause it to have so much feedback? No, I can still hear it. Hear it? All right, let me put these away. Let me move the phone across the room. Could it be because I have that phone plugged into a power strip with a whole bunch of other things to it, do you think? Let me try using, because no one's going to call me this late at night. Let me try sending, let me try hooking up my regular, like, everyday phone. and see if that will cause, see, this is the only way I can figure this out. It's, it's with you guys. I can still hear it whispering and I have it like across the room. All right, I'm gonna try this phone and see if we get that feedback from this phone. I'm going to remove that phone. And Give me a minute, you guys. It's doing it even louder. Let's see. All right. Let's see if this works. I can still hear a little bit of the whisper. No. This is doing it too. I wish I could figure this out. I hate that I can't. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
which is audio is off. Oh, awesome. East Coast, thank you for buying that. Okay, let me switch this camera around. Give me a second, you guys. Talk amongst each other. Okay. Do we hear a whisper? A little bit, right? This is my... This is my actual phone. Look at how much nicer the picture is. It's got a little bit of a whisper, right? I could probably use this one. It doesn't, it doesn't whisper like the other one. And it doesn't, it's not making that whistling noise. Let me see if I plug it in. That phone doesn't have, it's only like at a quarter, I think. Maybe it's the phone. Okay, so now it's plugged in. You can hear it, but it's not so bad. Right, you guys? It's crooked. I'm not gonna worry about it being crooked. I'm not gonna worry about it. How's that? Why is the candle scaring you? It's fine. It's it's perfect. Is that this phone whispering? Or I think it's the other phone. Let me cut the stream yard from that. Maybe it's the phone. Okay, I cut the stream on that. Let's see, do you hear a whisper? See, there's no whisper, and this is my phone. So probably it's the phone. Hi, Christina. Yeah, it's you guys, it's the phone. It's my old, it's my old iPhone that's causing the whisper. And when I upgraded, I kept this so that I could use it for my second camera. But it's it's been this the whole time. I didn't think it was the phone. I never, I never switched out the phone. I didn't think it would be the phone that was doing it. Wow. Can you hear the whisper? No, right? There's no whisper. It's good, right? I tried everything. I tried everything. I did. Like, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? It was so frustrating. It was the phone the whole time. And I never thought about trying. Well, I can't use this phone as my second camera because this is my phone that I use. Unless I put my service back on my other phone and just use this one for this which is more important that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put my service back on this phone which is there's nothing wrong with this phone i just i just upgraded because i wanted the nicer camera and you know for recording and stuff so i could use that phone for recording the nicer camera and then use it for streaming the second camera and then i can just go back to using this phone as my regular you know talking phone I'm going to do that. Hi, Boatman, Boatman. We figured it out. <laughs> I was the phone the whole time. 
get the dual power cord. I know, and try it, right? Because I would like to use that as my regular phone. But isn't that awesome that it's figured out? That was so annoying. I was, I can't even tell you, like, it was so annoying. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with that. I'm still drinking coffee. It's so delicious. I just made a pot. Yeah, the adapter. Yeah, I should try the adapter. I, I agree. I agree. If anybody sees the adapter online, drop the link for me and I'll just copy it and save it. Without service to that phone, you could use it live away from home. Without service to that new phone, you couldn't use it live away from home. True. So good point, Schreiker. So what I need to do is I need to get another phone number. Oh, okay. All right. Little K A K A little Martin's nest. Thank you. So, okay. So you're right, Schreiker. So what I need to do is I need to use that phone for using as my second camera, but I need to put my phone number on here on my old phone. There's my Denali. I need to put my actual phone number that I've had for 16 years on this phone, but I have to get service on that phone with the phone number so that I'm, when I'm out, I can still record. Yeah. So that's what I need to do. I need to put service on that. Adapters texted to you. Oh, I can't look at them because they're on that phone. <laughs> I'm using that phone, so I can't look at it. Okay, so let me let's talk about what's on this screen. So this is this is a Monet necklace. Okay, so this is Monet. It's marked Monet on it, and this is a little like Asian. How come it's not closing? It was just closing. Let's see what's wrong with it. Okay, <clears throat> and this is a little Asian, cute little Asian music box, and it does work. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, wind it up, and you guys can just like listen to it for a minute. And I'm gonna go outside and get another bag, and let's explore some more stuff in another bag, because this actually helps me because I need to do this anyways. So this is, you get both. So you guys can start the bidding on whatever you want on this. And you get both these items. You get this Monet necklace, whoopsie. You get this Monet necklace and you get the music box. Is Christine in the chat? Oh no, Sandy, she, um. She left this morning. She went to go spend time with family. She has family that lives in the area. No, I didn't, Holly. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. It was East Coast. You're a good assistant, Shopaholly. So are you, Shriker. Okay, 527. Um... Lot number one, went to East Coast for 50, clothing lot. If you upgrade and use the old phone on Wi-Fi, then you are getting the reverb. Hi, Susan. It's a pajama party. I hate that it's crooked. It bothers me. Let me see if I can fix it. We fixed the phone issue. I figured out that it was the actual phone all along and not, let me see if I do it this way, and not the, um, Now, if I could just get this not to be crooked, 
let's see. Takes a village. I'll tell you that much. Definitely takes a village. Look at you guys, 57 of you here hanging out with me tonight. Oh, I can't fix it. I can't fix it being crooked. I've tried all the different... All right, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go get another bag. Where's my truck key? <clears throat> I need to turn off that feature from my truck that it locks every time I walk away with the key because it's so annoying. Okay, this one feels like shoes. I just don't know if all of the pairs are matched up in all of the different pairs of shoes. But we'll look. See what we got here. I hope you're not disappointed. All right. All right, I'm gonna put myself on. Um, did we sell it? Hi, Valerie. Thanks, you guys. Christina, where you been? I haven't seen you forever. Just tilt your monitor, Brad. <laughs> Thank you for trying to find a solution, Brad. You're so good like that. <laughs> can you turn it off? Just Kim. Can you, what the music? The music box? Was it bothering you? Where's the little ballerina? Sorry. You've been here watching. You don't say hi. You need to say hello. Okay, let me mark those clothes. Okay. All right, let's go through this bag of clothes. So I, a, a bag of shoes. I think what I'll do... I think I, it was I th it was hypnotizing, was it, Kim? <laughs> oh, Christina got the jewelry box. Awesome. Christina C. Lot number two, twenty dollars for the jewelry box. Awesome, Christina. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll pull out the shoes and I'll show them to you and we'll do like, we'll just do like $5 start. And if nobody bids on them, I'll put them to the side for the ones that I can match. 
and then we'll just sell them as the whole lot. But I don't even know if all the matches are in here. Like I said, I've got 30 plus bags in my truck. So it's going to be a lot of work to um, to sort through them all. Let me just move Christina's jewelry box. And we'll see what sizes they are, what I have. Um, okay, let me just put this over here. Is, is Saxton in the chat? I think I saw her before. I got a message from you today and I didn't respond. Saxton, are you here? Let me know if she, if she says hello. If she says I'm here. Okay. So this first pair has definitely been worn and they are called... I think I saw both of them in here. Did I see both of them? Yeah, J slides. And they are size. They look really comfortable. I'll give them the scratch test. They're fine. Hmm. J slides. Eight and a half. They're size eight and a half. And they're in really clean, great condition. And we can... Saxton, where is she? She's not, maybe she went to bed. Yeah, she's probably went to bed. Yes, they're eight and a half. So I'm gonna put those here. If anybody's interested in a new pair of sandals for the summer, they're eight and a half, and they're only a five dollar start. They have been worn, um, but barely. Um, I'm going to do, and they're a little bit dirty here, but they're really like a thick plastic. So I'm going to do five dollar start on the shoes. If I don't get a bid, then I'm going to put them aside, and then. Um, Whatever doesn't sell, we'll do together as a lot, like a reseller lot. Yeah, just this pair. They're white. They're pure white. They're pure white, eight and a half. Let's see. Because some people may only want, you know, one or two pairs. Okay. Oh, good night, beetle bug. Happy studying. All right, let's move those to the side. And then the next pair is a pair of their suede. I'm giving them the scratch test. They're fine, and they are a pair of pink J Crew, and they're like, you know, these shoes. They're like the ballerina ones that you know when you put on. They look funny like that right now, but that's the way that's the way they are. Oh, are they your size, Shopaholly? You want the white ones, honey? I'll mark you down for the white ones. Okay, so these are. Nope. Look at. Forget these. Look. Scratch test. Scratch test. Look. See? Always give things the scratch test, you guys. So those are trash. Those are trash. You see how much work it is to have to, like, go through everything when you buy them? These are... I don't know. I don't know about these. They're really different. I can't read what the name is on them. Let me get another pair. These are J. Crew also. Okay, these pass the scratch test. Let's see if I can find the pair. Hold on. 
I found this pair. So let's do this pair next. I'll see if I can find. These are seven and a half. These are seven and a half. They're nothing a little magic eraser can't clean. They are slip on kind of like sneakers. Five dollars start on those. Good night, Shelly. Okay. Shopaholi wants the sandals for five dollars. White, I'm gonna call them flops. Yes, I just wrote them down, honey. Thank you, Shriker. Chapel Holly wants them for five dollars. She got them. Okay. No interest, you guys, on the slide slide in sneakers. Seven and a half is the size on them. All right, we'll put those aside. We find another pair. Um. Okay. Here we go. I found another pair. These are Toms, and they are size 7. All right, I'll put these aside. And I'll show you these, look how pretty those are. Um, Right there, they're Toms and they're size seven and they are in excellent condition. Pretty for the summer. We'll start those at five also. Do you like it like that? Split screen like that? So you can see the shoes and still kind of hear me talk. Can you believe the phone's not whistling anymore? It's the phone the whole time. It's amazing. They're Toms. Those are Toms. Ooh, these are cute. East Coast. They're really clean. So this is lot number four, and it's the Tom's shoes. Valerie is out. East Coast is going to get them. for eight dollars. So 
sold, sold, sold. Awesome. All right. He's going there. And here's your next pair. The Banana Republic. And they kind of look like maybe they've been worn, maybe not. They've got this fringe on them and they're Banana Republic and they are, they appear to be leather and they are size seven and a half. Seven and a half on those with that cute little fringe. Yeah, it's all leather. Seven and a half Banana Republics. Can't see the size on these. I think it's a six, but it looks too small to be a six. It looks like it's either a six or an eight. It's an eight. Althea isn't seven. Thank you, Althea. Thanks, everyone, for being here. All right, looks like Althea's going to get them. Those were the Banana Republic. Number five. Sold, sold, sold. Okay. These next ones are Sperry. They're gold. And they're eight. And they're slides. And then I'll fix them as soon as I mark this. They're pretty. They're pretty gold color. Gold's nice because it matches everything. They're in excellent condition. These are size eight. Yeah, they're nice. Position them for you. Yes, the pawns are great. There you go. Hi, Patty.
These are cute. Let's see. We have five dollars to Patty. Seven and a half on these. How come everybody's so quiet? Nobody's talking. I could bring the other phone back that like whistles in your ears because everybody was talking when I had that phone on. <laughs> Patty. Patty P. Gets lot number six. For five dollars. I know it doesn't seem like very much, but at least I'm getting two things done. I'm going through the bag. Um, those were the Clarks, right? Yeah. I'm going through the bags. You guys are keeping me company. Please don't bring the whistle phone back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan Roseberry. Hello, sweetheart. You guys are keeping me company. I'm going through the bags that I need to go through, 30 of them. We would be up all night if I did that. It's already 1.22 in the morning. Um, but I had a good nap this afternoon, so I'm good. Okay, those are going to Patty's house. Okay, here's the next pair. They're Kenneth Cole, and they are velvet. They're a little bit dusty. And they are um, very sexy. They have the lace up. They're seven and a half. And they lace up around the, um, the leg or the ankle. Seven and a half on those. They're just a little dusty, but they're like a velvet. And five dollars on those, which is like basically the price if you were going and shopping at like a thrift shop to to buy these. And I'm delivering them to your house for free, so I mean, usually you can't even find shoes in thrift shops. I mean, down here you can't for five dollars or less. So it's actually pretty decent, and I'm looking them over for you really good to make sure that you know. They're in good condition before I show them anything that's not in good condition. I'm, I'm not showing you. East Coast wants them. So I'm guessing that these shoes must have come out of the kids' closets. And we haven't gotten to the really good stuff yet. But that's okay. All right. East Coast is going to take the Kenneth Coles. five dollars all right thank you striker
All right. These are The Gap and their little gold sandals. And they're size seven and a half on these. Seven and a half. And they're cute. They kind of like buckle on the side. And they're in excellent condition. Oh, that's okay, Shriker. Thank you so much for helping, though. These are called Dizzy. Let's include these in with this lot, too. But these are size 39. So they, they're European, and they're called Dizzy. So we'll put these in the, the same lot. So this, these are nine and a half, and these are seven and a half. These are pretty. They definitely have been worn, but they're in excellent condition, and they're all leather. They're Madden Girl, and they are size... The soles just need to be cleaned. I'm just going to throw a few of these on, on the thing because I feel like I'm moving so slowly. I don't see the size on these. You don't see the size. I'm going to put those in there too. This is what they look like. They're all leather and they're... Madden girl. They look a quilt and they're like peach. I can't find the size on them, you guys. You're gonna have to look when you get them. So this is this is turning out to be kind of like a lot that you're gonna be bidding on. Hello world we round. Thanks for coming in. And let's see what else. Here's another pair of sandals. And these are Calvin Klein. And they are size, 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 size. I don't see it. What's its size on them? Where's my own? Um, I don't know where my, my eye thing is. I can't read it on the sticker, you guys. But they're Calvin Klein. Those are going to go in the lot, too. Let's see if there's anything else I can throw in. Franco Sparto, but they're kind of worn. And these are pretty. Let's see. Mm, the heel is a little bit collapsed on them. You know how that happens on shoes sometimes? The heel gets collapsed. So I'll donate those. Look at those to show me. Somebody will love them, but I wouldn't offer them up for like reselling. These two, these are kind of dirty inside, but these are the, um, you know, the Montaka, the Montaka, um, but they're 
they're really worn. I mean, I'm just gonna put them in. They're all leather. I mean, if you guys wanna use some leather cleaner, I mean, the outside of them is in excellent condition. You can see the outside. It's mostly just the inside that needs to be cleaned up. So, I'm, But I'm just going to put them in the lot because they have a nice following. People really like those. Those are to be donated. These are cute, but they need to be cleaned also. They have the gold on the bottom of the heel. They're like spikes and they're, um, they're J. Crew. And they're like, they're little flats with the spiked heels. I'm going to put those in too. Those are really worn, and those are really worn. Okay. Okay, so this is how many pairs you get in this lot. You get, I'm going to put the full screen on so you can see. You get the Calvin Klein, the Madden Girl, these are the Gap, these are the Madden Girl. These have the European size number 39. I can't remember the name on those. And then these are the J. Crew little ballet flats. You can see them. And then you have the Montaka ones. That's one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. You get six pairs in this lot. Good night, Shriker. Are you leaving? Five pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs. And we'll throw these in too. Seven pairs. Seven pairs of shoes. Althea comes in at 26. Thank you, sweetheart. Susan Arrington. I think I was 25 first. Okay, thank you. 
and I didn't read back. So the next bid would be 27 for the pile of shoes. Oops, let me see if I can do this. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a lot of shoes. East Coast is out. Althea wants them for 33. Let's put these away. Thank you, Susan. Can you believe the whistling is gone? Oh my God, I've struggled with that for how long? Right? Thank God. Oh God, I figured it out. Hey, Moni. Okay. So we're at fair warning, and Althea. For thirty-three dollars, lot number eight. Awesome! Congratulations! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! All right, here's your next item. They are a pair of authentic Ray Band. Wayfarers. I'll show them to you on me. They're really awesome. They don't have scratches on the lenses. I'll show you how pretty they are. I'm going to start them at 10. And these are authentic. The color is really pretty, and they are glass lenses. Usually, Rayban does glass lenses. They're such a pretty color. I wanted to try to lay them a little bit better, but that's the best we can do. Aren't they nice looking, you guys? They're beautiful. Look at the inside of them.
Wayfarers Made in Italy. So for those of you that are new to the channel, you probably, those of you that have been coming for three years now, um, my dad and my brother and all my uncles, I come from a long line of opticians, ophthalmologists and optometrists. Um, my family in Sicily owns like the Pearl Vision Center of Sicily. They own like a whole bunch of, so I used to model glasses when I was in my early teens, very, very early teens and worked in my dad's shop all the time. So, so when I sell a pair of glasses to you and I have a lot of pairs of glasses, I haven't shown my glasses, my sunglasses in a very long time. I have them, I have loads of them. Um, I will tell you that they're authentic because I can, I can pick up a pair of glasses. Hey, Renee, I can pick up a pair of glasses. Karen, hello, I have bad allergies and those keep my eyes not look like facets. I know. And Karen, you know what? It's so important, especially when you get to be our age to People don't understand, like you have to protect your eyes from the sun, just like you protect your skin from the sun because your eyes will get sunburned, just like your skin gets sunburned. And a lot of people get early onset of um, cataracts because they don't wear eye protection. Eye protection is, and it's really important, not just in the summertime, but also in the wintertime. It's if you live in a snowy state where there's snow outside, Donna knows her glasses. <laughs> yeah, if you live in a snowy state, like up north or anywhere where there's snow on the ground, the reflection from the snow, it's very damaging to our eyes, very, very damaging. So you really should learn, even it's not too late to wear eye protection on your eyes when you go outside. It's very, very important. People don't realize, people think that it's just a fashion statement to wear eyeglasses, but it's not. You need, you need the protection for your eyes. Thank you, Karen. Karen, I have, oh my gosh, I mean, some, some people like Susan has bought, oh my gosh, how many pairs of eyeglasses have you bought from me, Susan? Beautiful, beautiful eyeglasses. I also have beautiful vintage eyeglasses. Um, I have a source where I get a lot of eyeglasses that are customer returns and some of them are vintage. How much did I sell those? I think I sold a pair of, were they Versace, you guys? $2,700, I think it was. They were gold and um, silver. They were absolutely beautiful um, on eBay. I posted those on eBay. I have a pair of 14. You guys remember when I was showing glasses one night and I was like looking at the names and I came across a pair that was 14 karat gold and I said, oh, you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to list these. <laughs> or 10 karat gold. They were 10 karat gold. I'm like, I'm going to have to list these on eBay. So I'm going to pay the electric bill. And everybody was like, take them off, Donna. List them, list them. I'm like, I feel really bad. And you guys were like, no, no. You remember, Moni Love? I still haven't listed them. They're still here. God knows where they are now that I've moved into the cottage. They never got listed. I always say I'm going to list things on eBay, and then I never do. I probably should just find them and bring them to auction and you guys make the money and list them. Still haven't listed them, but those were fantastic. And they were fantastic because they were, um, they were vintage and old. Douglas, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> to find a gold pair of glasses. And I only found them completely by accident. Usually I just read the names on them and I don't look to see if they say they're gold or not. But some people have gotten some nice treasures. Yeah, that was a really long time ago. All right. All right. 
Yeah, I, I, I wear the same glasses a lot. Look at Jen Bennett. Jen Bennett is modding, you guys. Yay, Jen Bennett. <laughs> you go, girl. That's awesome. Thank you, Jen. Okay, so let's see. I still have boxes of glasses not listed yet from a year ago that you got from me. Ed, you bought a really nice lot, too. You bought some at Christmas time, I think, also. I think that was like the last time, like one of the last times that I showed glasses. I have a pair of vintage bling glasses I got at an estate sale and love them. The optometrist had to show them to everyone in the store. Awesome. Ah, uh, see, Ed, thank you. One pair paid for the entire lot. That was not a five bed. What's Brad saying? Let's see, who's got the high bid on this? Brad, are you bidding? That was not a five bid. Misha, thanks for hanging out with us, honey. Thanks everyone for hanging out. 57 of you here. A lot of people can't sleep. Brad, are you in? I don't understand your message. Where are you out? Oh, Brad would be next at 86. Oh, Althea comes in at 86. Thank you, guys. First, next, please. <laughs> we all took naps. I have a few peers in the lot I have bought from Donna that more than pay for all of the lots. I really should list them. They won't lose their value, Susan. Even if you don't list them for another three, four, five years, Eyeglasses don't lose their value. They hold their value. Like these beautiful wayfarers, like in 10 years or five years, will be so valuable. Because what happens is, is people break them and they lose them and they love them because they're so comfortable on their face and they go looking for them and they can only find them on eBay. And let's face it. Ray-Band is Ray-Band, right? Ray-Band is so desirable. If you're a re if you're buying these for yourself, that's wonderful. But if you're a reseller, even though they say made in Italy on them, these probably will go right to Europe. Europeans love Ray-Bands. You guys, that's a nice picture, isn't it? Is that a great picture or is it just me? I think I nailed it with the picture. Someday, Susan, you know, it's okay. I've never seen a real pair in person of Ray-Bans? What? Oh, my gosh. Ozma got an incredible lot from me. There was, um, I think it was Chanel was in that lot, and there was another... There was another really expensive pair. Who's Tammy talking to? I can do incantations and turn you into a frog. Who's she turning into a frog? Gucci. Oh, was there a pair of Gucci in there? Yes, I think there was a pair of Gucci. Ozma. She scored on that, on those glasses. Dolce Cabana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a really nice lot. Oh, you're going to turn Ed into a frog? <laughs> How come? What was he saying? Was he being fresh? All right, sold, sold, sold. Jen Bennett, 
You go, girl. Awesome job. Thank you so much for helping. And congratulations to our Althea. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here is a little treasure chest of jewelry. I'm going to be honest, and I did sit at my kitchen table and curated it. I didn't look really, really hard, but I did not find any gold or silver in this. I did look at it because it came from an old lady's house. I'm going to sell it as a crafter's lot. Um, I think that it would be an awesome crafter's lot. I mean, they're all very old vintage pieces. Um, oh, you know what? I wanted to add, hold on. I wanted to add these two, these watches to it too. <clears throat> hold on one second. Let me go get them. I just needed something like just to relax myself tonight. And I just sat and just I'm gonna include all of these. guys look better than I do. I gave them all a quick look. I didn't find anything that was, I found, oh, I found one thing that had a, a silver clasp and I'll show you, I'll show you that in a second. It's really pretty. Okay. So look at how cute this is. Uh, somebody must've made this. Look at, it's got a key. And it's like a, an old school of thread and some flowers. And it's on like this silky, isn't that cute? I don't know what, I don't know what that's all about, but I thought that was really cute. And then I don't know, there's a bunch of these in here and I sold a bunch of Pandora ones and they said 925 on them. I don't know if, if these, um, Let's focus camera. They may be um, knockoff ones. I'm not sure. And then this to me looked like it was gold. When I found it, it's broken. I couldn't find any, any markings on it. But there is something in here that's really beautiful. Look at this. I didn't look to see if that had markings, but it's just an old, very old um, watch. So you guys, you sit down and go through all this stuff and there's, there are a bunch of these in here. Um, and then there are some earrings with like some broken stones. I don't know, Holly. I don't know if they're Pandora. I sold some Pandora ones. And they didn't say Pandora, but they said 925 on them. But I don't see any markings on those. But like I said, I didn't look like really, really hard. So, all right. So you get that treasure box of miscellaneous kind of jewelry. And then we get these two old watches mixed in with that. This one's beautiful. But you guys really look these up. I did not, I didn't have the patience. Okay, so you're going to get those two old watches. And then I'm also going to include those earrings. And these earrings. And those earrings. 
so kind of cool. Right. Look at those. And those earrings. I was going to do these in two separate lots, but let's just do it all together. Oh, Karen, how beautiful. That is awesome. I watched um, Anita Fanita. Um, a couple of years ago, she took a bunch of old brooches and earrings like this, and she took a styrofoam foam, comb foam, and she made the most beautiful Christmas tree all out of like all these beautiful like miscellaneous earrings and brooches and like necklaces. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. I wanted to do that project with um, my kids, and I just, I never did. I just, just got too busy, but I thought, so these are, most of these are all clip-ons, just so that you know. Um, but, oh, yeah, it was, it was great. She did a live, and um, it was, uh, she did it with her sister, and I watched it. Uh, it was great because I, I love doing crafts like that. I just don't have the time. Those are clip-ons also. And those are also clip-ons. And these are screw backs. So you get all these great matched up earrings that are in perfect resellable condition. The two Timex watches. This one, I'm very curious because it looks like it appears to be valuable. Okay, that's just the word I'm going to use. And then this whole box is full of really just beautiful vintage, but it's like one piece or like, you know, like broken back. I mean, some of them are signed. Um, and it's just an assortment of different, just beautiful, beautiful jewelry. So that's going to be a surprise box. That's a nice little lot, don't you think, you guys? East Coast is out. Shopaholly wants it for 40 42 to Heather MC. East Coast is out. 44 to Holly. Any crafts tonight? I don't know, honey. I'm going to do, I really kind of wanted to do tonight as just a Kind of like a one-off type of thing even though i've done a few um lots i wanted to come on and just do a few just one off heather's out susan comes in at 50. i wonder what would make that phone whistle why would that phone whistle and this phone not whistle Brad, you're techie. What would cause that phone to pick up the rebarb or the 
the, the speaker and not this one. I'm so curious. Like I need, I need an answer to that. I didn't turn the speaker on. Oh, how come it's doing that now? Why is it doing that? It's so weird. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come on, I was just talking about that it wasn't doing it, and now it's doing it. I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Did it stop? No, it's still doing it. How weird is that, that I was just talking about the phone, not making the noise anymore, and all of a sudden it started whistling. Isn't that so strange? I plugged I plugged the earphones in it like I had to do it with the other one. That is so weird. No, it was plugged in, Heather. I had it. The battery wasn't getting well. It was plugged in. I didn't even touch it. All I said is why, and then all of a sudden it started whistling. I didn't even touch it. It's so weird. Oh, my God. I can't figure it out. It's a full moon. It's a ghost. Oh, Susan won it. Susan, you get it for 60 for the craft and earring lot. That's number 10. So weird. That is so strange, right, Holly? How how is that possible that I just mentioned it? And then all of a sudden just started making all that noise. It's plugged into a power strip, Susan. It's parked, it's it's in a power strip. I don't know. I don't get it. I I just can't, I don't understand it. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So weird. So weird. But I think it's charged enough, and I don't know if this phone is going to die like the other phone does when it's not charged, but we'll see how long it lasts. Because it, it charges really quick because it's a brand new phone. So, um, let's see. And usually the battery lasts, even for me, which I use my phone for everything, it lasts most of the day when it's plugged in. Okay. This is the other thing that came from the old ladies estate by, what are these called? Do you guys remember what these are called? I remember selling a bracelet. Actually, Tammy bought it, but this has a sterling silver um, clasp on it. It's a sterling on it, and they're knotted in between each one of the balls. But I don't remember. Both are on the same strip, um, the computer and the phone. I don't know. I'd have to check. Cinnabar. That's what it's called, Susan. So here's a beautiful cinnabar necklace. Hold on. Let me put it on.
Yeah, so there it is. It's really pretty. And it has uh, the sterling clasp on it. Hi, Autumn Grace. What are you doing up so late? Um, let's start at a 10. How about $10? It's pretty. Valerie comes in at 12. This looks like an old one. Is it wood? Does anybody know? Yes, you guys, Miss Martha also has auctions on her channel. She's having a sale tomorrow night, but we'll be back on teas tomorrow night also. We'll try to send people over, Miss Martha. I don't know how late we're going to be staying on. Is it wood? We've all missed Tammy. Oh, really? Well, my other phone's turned off. I turned that other phone off. And there you have it. Valerie is out. Miss Martha comes in at 30. That's what I was thinking, Dale 41. Need to split up sharing the same current close together. I'm purely guessing. Holly comes in at 32. Really? Put them on different power strips? I'll try it. It's not whistling now though, but I have the head. Okay, you guys be careful. I'm gonna unplug the headset and see if it starts to whistle again. Whoops. You fell off. I was trying to unplug it. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys.
Now this phone's whistling. I don't know. I have no idea. So strange. Can't figure it out. Hi, Jenny. I will be gone for a while. I just don't care anymore. Thank you for your friendship. Jenny? Who are you talking to? Are you all right? Jenny? Are you okay? What's up, Jenny? What's wrong? You're amongst friends here. Hi, believable blessings. Thanks for coming in. Miss Martha's at 50. Jenny, what's going on, sweetheart? Talk to us. All right, Sheila? Mm. Jenny, can you can you say something in the chat? We all care very much. You know I do. We text back and forth a lot. Jenny, we all, hey, Michelle, oh, welcome in. Jenny, we all have um, our crosses that we have to bear, honey. We all have hardships. And this is a safe place where you can discuss them. Because it's out of like the real, real world. Oh, makes me feel bad that she's not responding. Makes me feel real bad. No, neither have I, Jen. We've had lots of conversations. It was almost out of character. It was almost like out of character for her to say something like that. It does, Heather. It helps. Jenny, are you here still? Jenny, we all care very, very much about you. I wish you would respond. I don't think this little guy is going to stay. It's too loud. 
Right. Maybe we'll leave it like that. I'll show it to you though. Thank you, Miss Martha. This little apple is really cute. I think it might be like lapis maybe and I don't know what the green what the green is for the leaves but this is just a small little collection of charms that can be used on either a charm bracelet this one says Bahamas if it's a coin or something this is a little turtle and then there's a camera and that apple is not going to stay I wanted to show the green part of it. I don't know what that one is either. But yeah, five dollar start is perfect. Just a bunch of little, just little charms. Cute for a charm bracelet. Or if you have a little necklace, you can put them on. So we can get this little apple to stay turned. There it is. And do it so you can see all of them individually. Whoops, there it goes. She's not gonna stay. Make sure it didn't break. It didn't. She's not gonna stay. <gasps> all right, I give up. I wanted it to be a pretty display for you. That's not working. So there you go. <laughs> this is how you're gonna see them. Let me get the ones that fell. The camera, the poodle, the heart, the elephant, the turtle, that, and where's the turquoise or whatever this is. And where's the apple? The dreaded apple. Reef. Where did she go? Oh my god, she probably fell into this box of crafts. All right, well, you get the apple too. I'm gonna have to look through this box of crafts that's going to be shipped. Oh no, I found it. There she is, the troublemaker, back in the group. Cute little charms. A little owl. This is a turtle. I think that's all of the ones that I brought over.
I'm going to include this one too. This is actually really beautiful. Um, so it's this little tiny book. And this is this class. Um, it's like a magnet. But that's the extender that's on it. But look at this chain. I didn't test it, but this chain is really, really beautiful. Now look at the locket. You guys tell me this is gold. I'm going to die. Look at this. It's an actual... What is this? Is it Jewish? Does anybody know? Anybody have any idea? You want to definitely test this one. This came out of that old lady's estate. The chain on it is beautiful. I don't know, Susan. I don't know. But you get that awesome little book necklace with this little lot of charms. This is something about public of Bahamas. It's peace in different languages. Ah, you're right. That's what it is, Ed. It's peace, and because I saw Pache, it's peace in all different languages, you guys. He's right. It's exactly what it is. It says peace in all different languages. I love it. Ed is so smart. He is. That is awesome, Ed. Isn't that great? I love it. And I don't know if that's an opal one there. With the, the dove, the bird. It is cool. It is so cool. Love that. That is an awesome little book. So cute. So cool. Hey, Fern Darling. J oh, Fern Darling said it too. Different ways to say peace. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I didn't even know what I had. I love it. It's really nice. It's really nice. And so is the chain, you guys. The chain is beautiful. Look at this chain. If it's... It's either really nice bijotteria, which is my uh, Italian word for fancy costume jewelry, or it's gold. If it's gold, you guys let me know. Let me know you got a nice piece of gold from me. If it's gold. Hi, Mary. Yeah, it's pretty. That's green. I know it's hard to see it in the light. But that's a green, green turtle. And it says on it, made in Taiwan, Republic of China. 
so it's vintage. Um, Mary Pelletier's lagging. She's at 37. Susan's at 50. Can someone type in that Mary's lagging? She's probably lagging from when I was showing the book, maybe. Jen, can we tell her that she's lagging? I mean, I'm a, I'm I'm perfectly fine with giving it to Susan. I just don't want her to feel bad. I just let her know that she's that she's lagging. Tammy's saying, call it. Let's call it to Susan. Oh, she's been told. Call it to Susan, please. Okay. I just, I would give you the same courtesy, Susan or Tammy, if I saw that you guys were lagging. You know, I always say it's not for the $2. It's just to make sure that, I wonder if this opens. It's just to make sure that everybody gets a fair shot. That apple is lapis. What about the green? Pretty. All right, Susan. Congratulations, honey. The book and charms. Let us know what happens. Oh, look, this is so cute, too, that little turtle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Same estate, <coughs> excuse me, same old lady. And this is what I have. Trunk up, crystal ball. There's no markings on it. $5 start. Who loves elephants? Who needs a big fat elephant in their life? There you have it. There's your big fat elephant. <laughs> Adam Grace is like, oh my God. Heather's at five. Should we close it to Heather? No other interest? Oh, Holly comes in at seven. Heather comes in at nine for the elephant. Moni likes it for 10. Holly likes it for 11. Heather likes it for 13. Mm 
Moni's Love is out. Shopaholly's at 15. <clears throat> Heather's out. We're going to close it to Holly. Fifteen dollars. All right, Holly, thank you. Here is your next one. It's a magnifying glass. It hangs on a chain. So it's nice if you're going out shopping. Good night, Susan. I'm going to head to bed soon, too. If you're going out shopping, you can hang this around your neck and they can see the details. I started at 10. Mary comes in at 18. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle O is out. All right, we're going to give it to Mary. Thought you were a what? Monocule? KJ? Jenny, are you still here? <sighs> Jenny left. I'll call her tomorrow. I sold for $18.
All right, thank you so much and congratulations. All right, this is my next item. It talks about happy couple. Each is meant with the other through life as times of difficulty together you will create times of greater happiness. And it's an egg that's enclosed. It's dirty. It's definitely vintage. Hey, Philly Flipper. No, we didn't really have a party, just hanging out selling some one-off items. I had an afternoon nap, so I worked really hard today. So I got up and made myself a cup of coffee and decided to go live and do some one-offs. Did some clothes, did some shoes, did some jewelry. What else did I do, you guys? Um, did a jewelry box. Um, I don't know. I think that's all we did. Anybody want the happy couple egg? I don't know. Should we start the bid at five? We did shoes. Yep. We did some one off shoes. We did a lot of shoes. Country. Um, that's all it says, honey. It's, I don't see it saying anything else anywhere. Unless you can read Chinese. I don't see it written anywhere else. It's really well made though. Lose it down into the paper. It's glued on there, Ed. I'm going to rip it. It's all glued. So, you can't, I don't want to rip it, it's glued on there. I think that's a typewriter though, isn't that typewriter writing? Somebody wrote that with a typewriter? I would say it's old. This came from the state. This came from the same estate as the necklace, <coughs> the charms, the red necklace that Miss uh, Miss Martha bought, the elephant, <coughs> the crystal elephant. Excuse me. Um, the box of just miscellaneous watches and jewelry that Susan bought. This came from the same estate. Does it look hand painted? Um, I think it does. I mean, I, I don't think it, I was going to put myself on the screen, but I think this is like a, a better view of it. It looks like it's hand painted.
I don't think that it would, I don't think that they would stamp that on an egg. Do you? I don't think it would be stamped and then go through all the trouble of enclosing it in this beautiful box. I don't know. It's just really well made, Ed. I wish I knew more information about it, but I don't. That's all I know. Going twice to Holly. Fair warning. The characters on the egg is the signature. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Sold, sold, sold to Holly. Okay, let's put this here and I'm gonna show you this beautiful. This came from the same lady's estate. This is the clasp on it. It's really a beautiful piece. It's definitely old. I don't see any names on it. And that's the necklace. And I'll start it at five. And these are, these are cold. I don't know what kind of stones they are. These are definitely crystals. They're not, it's not plastic. I think you can tell by the era that it was made, that it's, you know, nice quality. Donna, I was just testing it. I have an iPhone also. Okay, Brad, let's see what you got for me, buddy. This is, I have an iPhone also. When I have both mics going on, on a stream yard, it does the same thing. But when I mute the mic on the stream yard on the PC and just leave the phone mic on, it's fine. When I mute the mic on the stream yard, so use the mic on my phone is what you're saying? Is that what you're saying, Brad? Turn off my Yeti and use just the mic on my telephone to talk without the Yeti on? All right, let me try that. So I'm going to mute. Can you hear me on the phone? Can you guys hear me? I don't think you can hear me. You could hear me? Yes, but you sounded muffled. Yeah, because the Yeti's really good. Um, let's see. Yeah. Good test, Brad. But, yeah. You guys could hear me, but it was muted. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Brad, figure it out for me, honey. Please. I'm tired of it.
you could hear me fine. What was everybody saying? I was muted. What is this on here? Oh, I must have got some ink on that. Oh, let's cover it up. Let me try it again. So I'm going to mute the Met Yeti. Okay, so now I have, I have the phone. If I talk clearly and if I talk louder, can you hear me? Let me see if I turn up the volume. Okay, the volume's all the way up on the phone. What do you think, guys? It's probably not as clear as the Yeti, but does that work? I'm going to try unplugging it and see if we hear the, the whistling noise. So if you're sensitive to it, just lower your volume for a minute. Okay. I just unplugged it. And it's not whistling. So Brad is right. But it sounds like I'm in a tunnel. It's not clear at all. Good morning, toilet girl. It's better now. You can hear you can hear me better. Going twice to Mary. How about if I stand back? Moni Love says it's good enough. Yes, Fern, you can hear me. I'll go back and watch the video too and see. It's better now. Brad, you figured it out for me. So if I'm using this second camera, which I use all the time now, I can't use my Yeti. I can only use my Yeti if I'm not using the second camera, which is fine. As long as you guys can hear me. Okay, we're going to close this to Mary. Mute the mic on your phone and try it. It, it will test it more. I normally... Just use my other cam, so phone, but I can test more. Mute my phone. Um, mute the mic on your phone. Okay. The, my phone mic was muted when I have the Yeti on. We can just turn up our volumes. I maxed out the second and wearing. I maxed out the sound and wearing headphones. Hmm. All right, did we sell it to Mary for five dollars? Okay, almost three hours. Didn't fall a lot, but it was a nice relaxing night. Right, you guys? It was nice and relaxing. I need to go to bed because I have to straighten out the gift certificate thing that I didn't do today because I only picked up inventory. I've got a ton of shipping to do tomorrow. Oh, I think it's Scarlet. I took like a three and a half hour nap today because I worked so hard this morning. It was crazy. I worked so hard. So I collapsed this afternoon and took a nice long nap. I made myself a cup of coffee and decided to come on, came on at midnight. 
Yeah, we had a good turnout though, you guys, right? We had like 50 people here at midnight. It was, it was like a 30 minute warning. Like I didn't, oh no, I'm gonna stay here, Jen. I'm all locked in. I'm good, I'm gonna stay here tonight. Yeah, it feels good to take him out. And the girls are coming tomorrow to help me, thank goodness. It's the end of the school year and they've got so much going on. Especially with Angelina being a senior and and Chessie was away playing volleyball all last weekend. I didn't go with her. She was in Daytona Beach playing volleyball. She went with another she went with another family. Um Mary, not tonight, honey. I'm so tired. But I, I will be on tease tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to bring a jewelry jar because I haven't brought a jewelry jar in a long time. So thanks, Misha. I love it. I love it so much. I do. I love the birds coming and, and eating and I love how vintage it is. It's really cute. I love that the kitchen is all done. The guest room is beautiful. The bathroom is beautiful too. I have to take pictures of the bathroom. Well, I have to give you a tour. I have to give you a tour. I just, I feel like we haven't, I feel like I haven't made like a ton of progress. Christine organized the shipping room really great, which is fantastic. And we did the kitchen together and we did the bathroom together. But it still, it still needs a lot of work. It still needs a lot of work and I need to buy a lot of things for it. So, hence why I'm on at midnight doing auctions. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. Good night, Holly. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, okay, on T's channel. I don't know what time she's going to be doing the um, stream. The girls are good, Scarlett. They're really good. They're really happy. Oh, Misha, my guest room is open. You come. I will. Add, I'll call her first thing in the morning. I'm not going to call her tonight. Oh, thanks, Fern. I just wanted it to be really relaxing. I did. I'm glad that you said that. That makes me feel really good. Yeah, no, like, uh, sometimes, sometimes YouTube can be just so noisy, you know? Sometimes it's nice to just hang out and it'd be nice and quiet, right? Just have a cup of coffee and just be quiet and just chit chat. Thank you. It is. It's a cute little house. No drama. I'm so tired of the drama. So tired of it. Mary's like, she's falling asleep. My voice putting you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to stay away from it all. I've learned my lesson. For sure, I've learned my lesson. Mwah. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Everyone have sweet dreams. I know, right? I'll try to do more, Brad. I'll try to take more afternoon naps and come on late at night. Especially for the West Coast people. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. Love you guys.